So some of the saddest news that I've heard in ages happened. Rick Mail has died at the age of 50 something. I can't believe it. I mean, I remember watching him when I was young, watching him on programs like Bottom, The Young Ones, Black Adder. He was in Guest House Paradiso with Adrian Edmondson reprising their roles. I've seen all the live Bottom DVDs, all the outtakes, loads of documentaries on him, Adrian Edmondson, and all that lot that grew up around the same time. I mean, he always played the nasty kind of creepy person, like in The Young Ones playing the anarchist that nobody liked. And then in Black Adder, he played Lord Flashheart, which everyone liked because he was the daring, blonde, ripped kind of ha ha gun ho kind of person that he was in Black Adder. And then in Bottom, he played the creepiest person that you would ever meet if this. Well, they do exist, that's the trouble. The people that Rick Mail, Adrian Edmondson, the rest from the Young Ones, um, Ben Elton wrote about, you know, Ben Elton, the one that did um, the Young Ones and Blackadder. I mean, all these people from like the nine o'clock, not, not the nine o'clock news, all the people from not the nine o'clock news, Bottom, Blackadder, um, Dawn French and all that, they all came out at the same time. They were all massive comedians when they started and they got into TV and did it that way. So they all knew each other, they all had the same kind of education, which was a really good education back then. There you go, kitty cat. Say hi. Hello. It's Archie for you. So yeah, they were coming out all at the same time and they all had the same type of education, you know, a good high education that was school, college, university, A-levels, whether it was in history or it was in art and design or script writing or in something completely irrelevant to media. Monty Python's Flying Circus that came out a bit before Bottom, you know, in the 60s and 70s they had some of this stuff. Before that it was the war comedy like Dad's Army where it was old gentlemen and then you had the younger slightly bizarre comedy of Monty Python and then you had the young riffraff and satirical comedy of Bottom and the Young Ones where they got away with so much more than they did or can do today. I mean back then they were physically causing each other violence with anything that came to hand. They made open, slightly racist remarks about the times and the people and what was happening back then. There was a lot to talk about and a lot to be angry about, so they could get away with it and they didn't have to be PC. These days you have to be so PC and so correct in your comedy and make sure that you don't annoy or upset anyone, whereas back then you didn't. So Rick Mail, Adrian Edmondson, the lot from Monty Python, the lot from Blackadder, Ben Elton and all this, they just did whatever they wanted and whatever they liked. I mean, I know Rick Mail never really did much on TV in the last 10 years. He did a few cameos and a few short mini-series, but nothing massive, but he did do a lot of writing, which kept him in good stead and kept him working within the media and as a comedian. And it's... It is such a shame that he died at such a young age and it's a shame that we will see no more Bottoms on TV. So RIP to Rick Mail, you will be sorely missed. It is a shame that another great personality character and somebody that brought a load of laughter and life into this world. Another person has slipped off the surly bonds of this world to touch the face of God. Or in Rick Mail's case, give a wedgie to the bottom of the devil. Let's just hope he annoys the devil so much that he kicks him back up onto earth so that he can continue making amazing comedies. And let's just hope we can stop being up our own asses and politically correct that comedy from back then can start to come back because it was great people looked at it at what it was comedy it wasn't there to be racist it wasn't there to be annoying and it wasn't there to upset anyone it was just purely there to make some people laugh you can't make everybody happy all the time but you can make yourself happy all the time 
I liked what Adrian Edmondson said when he heard that Rick Nell had died. He said, what? He's died without me? Bastard. Two fantastic comedians. You can't say more and leave more of a legacy than having nearly the entire world miss you when you die and have your program still on air. Remember to leave a comment in commemoration and in tribute to the late great Rick Mail. Let us know what your thoughts on him were and his body of work. Check out the rest of my channel for some more great videos. Remember to share and subscribe. Until next time, take care and keep smiling. Watching this video by me, Jekyll69. Remember to subscribe and comment to my YouTube channel for some more great interviews and reviews along with some more additional content. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Jekyll69 and like me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Jekyll69. Thanks for watching. Remember to enjoy, share, like and subscribe and comment. Until next time, take care and bye.